Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. Today I'm just going to show you a cool little hack for those of you that really insist on having concave style arcade buttons like this one is. Um, that you can actually, this, is, this would be like a HAP style concave button. And let's say you'd like to have some of these concave buttons but you'd like to have them lit up. And uh, But you don't know anything about doing this RGB stuff. Well, what I'm going to show you today is kind of a cool hack, but it's kind of an expensive hack. Um, you can find these buttons uh, like this on Ultimark's website. Uh, I'll have it on the screen right there. You can see the classic RGB uh, LED push buttons. They are $8.50 each. Uh, so they're kind of expensive buttons, but there's something we can do with this that's uh, kind of cool that I want to show you here. Um, what I have here is a uh, one of the standard uh, encoder boards that you'll find on Amazon. Uh, our Sanwa joystick plugs into here, and our regular um, HAP-style joysticks can plug down into here. And then here's where our buttons plug into. Now... Let's say that uh, we want to light up those buttons. Well, if we use an encoder like this one that's got the three, we can actually light them all up individually with our uh, RGB thing here. Or on this one, you can see this 5-volt connection here. Uh, this is what I'm going to show you here is this 5-volt connection. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the ground on this one and I'm going to take one of those uh, HAP style RGB buttons and uh, I uh, took the ends off of it. Um, where did I put it? I don't know. I think it's under here. Here it is. It's just one of the uh, four, pin, oops, four pin things right there. I took the ends off of it to expose the wire. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the gray wire. Sometimes this could be a yellow wire. And uh, I'm going to take it and I'm going to hook it up to this ground wire here on this encoder board's uh, output for LEDs. There we go. That way it's just holding right there. So I got these wires right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me see. Here we go. Here's the power coming from the uh, USB on my computer. We'll just plug this in so that there is now power going through this encoder. So what I'm going to do next, we'll turn this around, is I'm going to take each of these individual channels and I'm going to touch them to the positive. And as you can see right here, whoop, let me adjust this camera. Here's the green wire, the green lit up. Here's the blue wire, the blue lit up. Here's the red wire, the red lit up. Now, um, let me turn off the lights here a minute so you can see this. And uh, I'll show you that intensity of it and some, some cool stuff that we can do with this. Um, let's see. Here's that blue wire and here's that green wire now if we take the blue wire and the green wire <coughs> and put them together and touch it to the positive we get like a bluish green now if I take one off totally blue take this one off <sighs> try to do this one hand totally green so we get a different color there same thing if we take the red and the, I don't know if this is green or blue we'll find out with green so you get kind of a lime color looking right there uh, let's see we could take red with blue and we should get like a purple I believe and that what red and blue makes yeah kind of a purple now the intensity of this uh, not to get too technical about wiring but the intensity of this will uh, change depending on the amount of voltage going into each one. But we're not going to get into that. You can actually adjust that and actually adjust the color that you want to uh, fine-tune it to the exact color that you're looking for. But uh, that's, that's a little more complex. Let me turn the lights on here again. 
that's a little more complex than uh, what I want to get into. But the point is, is that these buttons right here actually run on 5 volt and you can actually use any 5 volt. Uh, I wouldn't recommend uh, using the one from your encoder. I suppose you could. Uh, I, I think if you're going to wire up your RGB, you should actually have it wired up separate from what an encoder is. That way you're not drawing power from your Raspberry Pi if you're using that. And you're not drawing power from your USB port, which could be a little bit weaker. You can get a cleaner signal from a cleaner 5-volt source. But, uh, yeah, you could absolutely wire up concave hap style buttons into your arcade cabinet and have them light up with uh just this little hack like i said it's a little expensive it's 850 for these um there's like a gold leaf brand which are cheaper and those are concave too and those are also on the ultramark website but those i don't like the wiring in those uh, let me see if i have some in this box down here yeah Here's one. It's a junk one. Hold on, guys. Here's a gold leaf type RGB that you can do the exact same thing with. But you see right there where there's a couple wires broken off? Uh, well, one wire right here, the red. Uh, that's the problem with these gold leaf ones is the leads on them are so weak. You almost have to re-solder these every time um i don't recommend this brand but they are cheaper if you want to do rgb concave on the cheap but uh yeah i would really recommend the classic rgb from ultramark if you're looking to do concave and light them up look at that right there blue button um i could actually take let me get them off the shelf here to keep this lit <laughs> We'll take the blue and the green wires, cross them together on the positive, and uh, we'll put some forceps down there. There we go. But, uh, yeah, and so we get like a... Let's see if we can brighten this up in here. Maybe that'll change the look of the light there. But that's the kind of color we're getting. It's kind of a, like a lighter blue, I guess. But, yeah, I can absolutely change um, these LEDs to different colors. At least three different for sure. Uh, should have six total that you should be able to do, and plus white. Now, if the white isn't looking as bright as white should be, I'll show you white here in a minute. Okay. So there's red. Let me turn this off. And we'll show you that with the lights off. Okay. Let me turn the lights on. Okay. And then we'll do green with the forceps. <laughs> I hate trying to do stuff live like this. And, uh, but yeah, hold on here. I'll get on there. My hands are just terrible today. All right, there's our green. Now, let me do something here. <clears throat> Maybe I can illustrate this color changing going on now. See how the color changes there when I add red to it and it will change to something else when I add blue to it see that if I add red and blue to it this would be white and it would be a clear white as long as the intensity of the bulbs uh, it isn't necessarily equal, but a line for where it needs to be to make that white shine through. But yeah, you can get tons and tons of colors 
out of these without using one of those uh, ultimate IOs if that's too complicated for you. And you can still use your uh, encoder board there. Uh, it's not really too hard at all. Um, you, if you want, you could use, you know, a board like this, which has got wire leads like this. Look at this. This is all for HAP style. So you could, like, take this and plug your buttons in there. Yeah, we'll just do this real fast. And then it still has the extra wires you need to power the uh, lead and choose whichever color you want so pretty slick huh guys <laughs> uh, hopefully I explained that without boring you too much but uh, that is the hack um, I'll see you guys later we'll see you in the next video and have a good one